Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang series and parallel inductors. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so after nating ma-discuss yung series and parallel connections for resistors and capacitors, punta naman ngayon tayo sa series and parallel connections of inductors. So, same lang din yung concept na i-apply natin dito sa series and parallel inductors. So, let's start with series inductors. So, for the series inductors, almost the same lang din siya sa resistors. So, For the equivalent inductance o yung LX, kapag sinimplify natin itong series inductors natin from L1 to L sub N and then connected with the voltage source VT, there is a total current na magpo-flow which is IT. Kapag nire-write natin using the equivalent LX, ito yung magiging itsura niya. And then yung formula for equivalent inductance or LX ay just the sum ng individual inductances noong mga inductor. So, LX is equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus dot 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 plus until LN. Okay? So, the equivalent inductance of series connected inductors is the sum of the individual inductances. Okay, same lang din dun sa concept for voltage. Kapag series, yung total voltage ay equal doon sa individual voltage drop doon sa inductor. So, Vt is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus dot 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 plus V sub N. And for the current, since it is in series, isa lang yung dadaloy na current doon sa bawat inductor. So, IT is equal to I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3 is equal to dot 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 is equal to IN. Okay? Next, punta naman tayo sa parallel inductors. So, this time, meron tayong parallel inductors L sub 1, L sub 2, L sub 3, dot dot dot, hanggang L sub N. And then, meron tayong voltage source across them na VT. So, yung equivalent inductance for parallel inductors, which is represented by this figure, ay equal dito sa formula natin na LX is equal to 1 all over 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3 plus dot 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 plus 1 over LN. So basically, the equivalent inductance of parallel inductors is the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of the individual inductances. So para lang siya ng formula doon sa parallel resistors. Okay? Now for two inductors in parallel, so tulad sa resistors dahil para naman sila ng formula, Pwede rin natin i-apply yung formula for two parallel inductors para makuha yung LX. So, LX is equal to, multiply natin yung dalawang inductance over sum ng dalawang inductance. So, LX is equal to L1 times L2 over L1 plus L2. Okay? And then, for the concept naman ng current doon sa parallel inductors, yung IT is equal dun sa sum ng individual branch currents ng bawat inductor. So, IT is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus dot 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 plus IN. And then, for the voltage drop across each inductor, equal lang yung bawat isa doon sa total voltage or yung supply voltage source natin kasi nga parallel. So, VT is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3 is equal to dot 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 is equal to V sub N. Okay? And then, after nating ma-apply yung mga formula na to for LX, IT, tsaka VT, pwede nating i-apply yung na-derive nating formula for voltage current relationship for inductor, which is VT is equal to LX times DIT over DT, as well as IL is equal to I over LX integral of VL DT from T0 to T plus I of T0. Okay? Okay, so far, ito na yung table na pwede nating tignan upang malaman ng important characteristics of the basic elements na resistor, capacitor, at inductor. So, ito na yung so far na na-discuss ko sa mga videos ko about resistor, capacitor, and inductor. So, meron tayong relation, yung voltage to current relationship, 
current to voltage relationship. So, ito yung mga formula nila, which na-discuss ko naman na sa mga videos ko. Ito naman yung formula for power or energy. Ito naman yung equivalent resistance, capacitance, inductance for series connection. So, ito yung mga formula. Kapag parallel, ito yung formula. As well as kung ano yung equivalent circuit nila when there is a supply voltage or current na DC. So, pwede nyo isulat or tandaan kapag nag analyze kayo ng circuits with resistor, capacitor, and inductor. Ito yung mahalagang formula. Okay? Now, para ma-illustrate yung iba't ibang formula na pinakita ko for inductors, ay mag-solve tayo ng sample problems. So, for number one, we have find the equivalent inductance of the circuit below. Okay, so ito yung circuit natin. So hanapin daw natin yung LX or equivalent inductance across these terminals. So magsimula tayo mag-simplify uli dito sa dulo. So itong tatlong inductors, obviously in series. So applying the formula for series inductors, i-add lang natin sila, right? So we have 20 Henry plus 12 Henry plus 10 Henry is equal to 42 Henry. So, therefore, pwede na natin i -re write itong tatlong series inductors as one inductor with value 42 Henry. So, we have 4 Henry, 7 Henry, 8 Henry, and then yung series inductor equivalent na 42 Henrys. Okay, so ito yung LX natin. Then, mapapansin nyo, dito ulit sa dulo, nagkaroon tayo ng parallel inductors na 7 Henry tsaka yung 42 Henry. So, apply natin yung formula for parallel inductors na dalawa. So, yung product nila, so 7 Henry times 42 Henry over yung sum ng inductance nila. So, 7 Henry plus 42 Henry. So, using calculator, it is equal to 6 Henry. Okay? So, rewrite na natin itong dalawang parallel inductors with single value 6 Henry. So, we have copy for Henry and then itong equivalent inductance na 6 Henry tsaka yung nasa babang inductor na given 8 Henry. Okay? So, LX hanapin natin. Finally, natira sa atin ay tatlong series inductor. So, madali lang para makuha na natin yung final answer na LX, add lang natin sila. So, we have 4 Henry plus 6 Henry plus 8 Henry is equal to 18 Henry. So, siya na yung equivalent inductance nung network of inductors natin. Okay? For the next example, we have, for the circuit in figure below, I of t is equal to 4 times quantity 2 minus e raised to negative 10 t milliamp if I sub 2 of 0 is equal to negative 1 milliamp, find A, I sub 1 of 0, B, V of t, B sub 1 of t, and V sub 2 of t, C, I sub 1 of t, and I sub 2 of t. Okay, so let's start with letter A, I sub 1 of 0. So, mapapansin nyo, yung equivalent circuit natin, o yung given natin na circuit, ay meron tayong parallel inductors na nakasiris sa isang inductor. Tapos, meron tayong voltage source VT. So, ano pwede natin apply na formula para mahanap natin itong I sub 1 of 0. So, pwede natin i-apply yung KCL at node Let's say node A. So, pag in natin yung KCL at node A, mahanap natin yung current I na equal sa I sub 1 plus I sub 2, right? Kasi KCL means current leaving is equal to current entering. So, nag -e enter sa node na to yung I and then yung dalawang current na I sub 1 tsaka I sub 2 ay naglilib. So, kaya ito yung naging formula natin. And then, 
Gusto natin ay yung i sub 1 of 0. So, masasob natin dito si i sub 1 as ano? i minus i sub 2. So, therefore, kailangan natin ng i sub 1 of 0 na evaluated sa 0. So, lahat ng i na to, tsaka yung i sub 2 na to, dapat naka-evaluate din sa 0. So, meron ba tayong value for i sub 0? Pwede nating makakompute yun kasi meron naman tayong given na formula for i of t. So, ito, pwede natin isubstitute sa t yung 0. How about yung i sub 2 of 0? So, given na negative 1 milliamps. So, pwede nating makompute na si i sub 1 of 0. So, substitute natin. Yung i of t natin ay 4 times quantity 2 minus e raised to negative 10 t. Gagawin natin 0 kasi na-evaluate natin yung function of i sa 0. So, parang matlang function, di ba? Minus i sub 2 of 0. So, ito yung given natin na i sub 2 of 0, negative 1 milliamp. So, negative 1. So, itong lahat ng to, naka milliamp. Right? Kasi given dito rin sa i of t is milliamp. Okay? Then, simplify natin. So, 4 times 2 minus e raised to negative 10 times 0 is e raised to negative 0. Minus or dahil double negative, magiging plus 1 na to. Milliamp. Simplify. 4 times 2 minus e raised to negative 0 or simply 1 na lang yon Plus 1, milliamp. Simplify further, we have 4 times 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 1, milliamp. So we have 5 milliamp. Okay, so therefore, I of 0 is equal to, what? to 5 milliamp. Okay? Now, for letter B, find V of T, V sub 1 of T, and V sub 2 of T. So, ano pwede natin gamitin formula para mahanap si V, si v of T muna? So, seeing this circuit, itong V of T siya yung uh, input voltage. Pwede nating mahanap yung V of T using the formula na LDIDT. Kailangan lang natin hanapin yung L equivalent na to nung circuit natin and then yung I natin na given naman yung I of T natin kasi parang ito yung total current, di ba? Siya yung input current doon sa circuit. So, masasolve natin si V of T as L X di dt ito yung formula for inductor di ba kunin muna natin yung lx ano ba yung lx so parallel series so parang lx ay equal siya sa 2 henry plus yung parallel inductor na to yung 4 henry parallel sa 12 henry so yung formula natin 2 henry plus 4 times 12 over 4 plus 12 so, equivalent to sa 5 Henry. So, ito na yung gagamit nating LX. Now, sa, now, substitute natin sa formula. So, LX is 5 Henry na. So, V of T is equal to 5 times DI over DT. E, di derivative natin yung I of T natin na to. So, anong derivative nyan? So, derivative ng 4, 2, minus E raised to negative 10 T. Okay, with respect to T. So, we have 5 times derivative natin to. So, constant yung force. So, sa labas lang siya, retain. Then, derivative natin tong pinaka-function. So, derivative of 2 is 0. And then, derivative nitong e raised to negative 10 T. So, meron tayong minus dito sa unahan. So, chain rule. So, negative 10 e raised to negative 10 T. Right? So, we have 5 times 4 is 20. And then, negative of negative 10 is positive 10 na. So, 10 e raised to negative 10 t. 20 times 10 is 200 e raised to negative 10 t. Okay? Ang unit niya ay volts na. Milli volts kasi milli amp ito, ba? Okay? So, ito yung V of t natin. Okay? So, function of time din siya. Now, ano yung next na hanapin natin? V sub 1 of t. Tsaka V sub 2 of t. 
So, para na hanapin yung V sub 1 of T. So, referring to this figure, V sub 1 of T, meron naman tayong current na dadali sa kanya, di ba? Itong I. And then, meron tayong inductance niya na to Henry. So, pwede pa rin natin gamitin yung V sub 1 is equal to L1 di dt. Right? So, magiging V sub 1 of T is equal to L1 di dt. Yung I kasi, yun pa rin naman dadali sa kanya, di ba? So, ano L1 natin? Kanina, 2 Henry naman. Tapos, so, derivative ba natin yung I of T? So, D of 4, 2 minus E raised to negative 10 T respect to time. So, we have, so, na compute na natin ito kanina, equal yun saan? 4, 0, minus negative 10 E raised to 10 T. Right? Simplify. We have 8 times positive 10 E raised to negative 10 T equals to 80 E raised to negative 10 T millivolts. So, siya si B sub 1 of T. Okay? Now last, paano naman si V sub 2 of T? Okay? Well, kung mapasin nga dito sa figure na to, pag nag KVL tayo sa loop na to, so KVL, summation of voltage is equal to 0, we have V minus V1 minus V2 is equal to 0. So itong V sub 2, since Parallel tong circuit natin, kahit dalawang inductor sila, isa lang din yung voltage na magda-drop sa kanila which is V2. So, parang single voltage lang yung ginamit ko. Now, kailangan natin ay V2. Right? So, solving for V2 in this formula, we have V2 is equal to V minus V1. Okay? So, ito yung hanapin natin yung V2 using this formula. Kasi meron na tayong V tsaka V sub 1, right? Yung kakakuha lang natin. So, substitute na lang natin. So, therefore, V sub 2 of T is equal to V of T minus V sub 1 of T. Ano ba yung V of T natin? 200 E raised to negative 10 T. So, 200 E raised to negative 10 T minus V sub 1 of T ito. 80 E raised to negative 10 T. Millivolts. So, subtracting. We have 200 minus 80 is... 120 and then e raised to negative 10 t millivolts so therefore this is our v sub to 120 times e raised to negative 10 t millivolts okay now for letter c find i sub 1 of t and i sub 2 of t so this time pwede natin gamitin yung formula for the current in inductor which is yung gagamit tayo ng integral right so we have I sub 1 of T is equal to 1 over L1 integral of V sub 1 of T dt from T naught to T plus I sub 1 of 0. Yung 0, siya yung T naught natin which is laging 0 kasi yung initial time naman natin ay 0. So, substitute natin yung value. 1 over L1 natin for I sub 1 is for Henry, right? And then, T naught is 0 to T. Yung T natin, yung limit natin, ay walang binigay na value. So, as is na T. Then, yung V sub 1 of T, yung voltage natin dun sa inductor, ay itong V sub 2, right? So, na-compute na natin itong V sub 2 kanina na ito siya. So, ito yung gagamit na natin, voltage. So, 120 E raised to negative 10 T dt plus itong i sub 1 of 0 na compute na rin natin to kanina ano yon ito 5 milliamp so substitute natin dito 5 milliamp then evaluate natin yung integral so itong 120 na constant pwede nating igilid sa so magiging 120 over 4 then integral of e raised to negative 10 t dt from 0 to t plus 5 milliamp okay so, simplify na lang natin to 120 over 4 is 30, right? Then, ano bang integral nitong e raised to negative 10 t? So, parang e raised to negative 10 t over negative 10, 
right? Then evaluated at 0 to T. Then plus 5 milliamp. Simplify natin. Itong 30 divided by negative 10, pwede na natin i-simplify as negative 3. Okay? And then ito na lang, i-raise yung negative 10 T, evaluate natin sa 0 to T plus 5 milliamp. So we have negative 3 times E raised to negative 10. Substitute natin yung T dito sa T which is T pa rin. Minus, substitute natin tong 0 dito sa T natin. So maging E raised to negative 10 T times 0. Plus 5 milliamp. Simplifying further, we have negative 3 times quantity E raised to negative 10 T. Copy lang. Minus, eto parang E raised to negative 0 or simply 1. Okay? Plus 5 milliamp. Then, distribute natin itong negative 3. Magiging negative 3. E raised to negative 10 T. Plus 3. Plus 5 milliamp. Simplify natin itong 3 plus 5. Siya 8. So, we have negative 3. E raised to negative 10 T. Plus 8 milliamp. So, ito yung final answer natin for I sub 1 of T. Now, same formula will apply for I sub 2. Of t. So, I sub 2 of T is equal to 1 over L2 integral of V sub 2 of T dt from T naught to T plus I sub 2 of 0. So, substitute the value. We have 1 over L2 natin I 12 Henry, right? Integral of V sub 2 of T. So, same lang dun sa kanina na... 120 e raised to negative 10 t kasi, kasi dun, yun din yung voltage drop dun sa uh, 12 henry para lang sila nung sa 4 henry kasi parallel sila so we have 120 e raised to negative 10 t dt from 0 to t plus ano yung i sub 2 of 0 natin this time na compute na natin din yun kanina right or sorry given pala yun yung negative 1 milliamp so we have negative 1 milliamp. Simplify, we have itong constant ulit, gilid natin, so 120 over 12, integral of e raised to negative 10 t dt from 0 to t minus 1 milliamp. Okay? Simplify muna natin, 120 over 12 equal yan sa 10. Then, then integral nitong e raised to negative 10 t dt nga ay e raised to negative 10 t over negative 10. Then, evaluated from 0 to t. Minus 1 milliamp. Simplify further itong 10 divided by negative 10. Negative 1 na lang. And then, ito evaluate natin tong e raised to negative 10 t from 0 to t. So, we have e raised to negative 10 t minus e raised to negative 10 times 0 minus 1 milliamp. So, we have negative 1 times e raised to negative 10 minus ito 1 uli kasi e raised to 0 is 1 minus 1 milliamp. Then, distribute natin itong negative 1. So, parang negative e raised to negative 10 t plus 1 minus 1 milliamp. Therefore, yung magiging final value natin for i sub 2 of t is negative e raised to negative 10 t milliamp. Okay? Now, kung i-verify natin yung KCL equation natin kanina na i of t is equal to i sub 1 of t plus i sub 2 of t, we have i of t is equal to what? 4 times 2 minus e raised to negative 10 t, right? So, we have I sub 1 of t is, yung nakuha natin ay negative 3 e raised to negative 10 t plus 8. Then, plus I sub 2 of t is, ito, negative e raised to negative 10 t. So, we have, add natin to, nagiging negative 4 e raised to negative 10 t plus 8. Okay, so, gayahin natin tong form na to. So, Unahin natin itong 8. So, 8 minus 4 e raised to negative 10 t. Then, factor out natin itong 4. So, 4 times quantity 2 minus e raised to negative 10 t. So, therefore, 
tama sila. So therefore, tama yung mga nakuha nating equations for the current. Kasi nagtali dun sa KCL equation natin. Okay? So that's it for the topic series and parallel inductor. So basically, dapat alam nyo lang yung formula at concepts ng series at parallel inductor para ma-analyze nyo yung anumang given circuit na pwedeng ibigay sa inyo. Okay, and then dapat marunong lang kayo ng onte sa differential calculus kasi nagdi-derivative tayo doon, di ba? Kasi nga kapag inductor or capacitor, uh, hindi na siya basta-basta ohms law. So, dapat medyo may advanced knowledge na kayo sa math. Okay? So, that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.